Everybody working in a handicapping thoroughbred racing on President's Day, Monday, February the 20th. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct Race Course where they're featured. Race number 8 today, 3.46 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Holly Hughes Stake, six furlongs on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Three rolls and up race for a stakes prize of some. $75,000. Contenders number six, Dr. Gis Disco. Number two, Freudian Dilemma. Number three, Law Enforcement. And number seven, Head, Heart, Hoof. You folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts today, this New York bred handicap is named for a man who spent a lifetime in racing. Mr. Holly Hughes retired in 1975 after training horses for the Sanford family for some 70 years. In 1973, he was inducted into the Racing Hall of Fame at Saratoga Springs. Mr. Hughes became General Stephen Sanford's head trainer in 1914, saddled his first winner at Saratoga on August 27th of that year. After training horses for only two years, he won the Kentucky Derby with a horse called George Smith. Actually, Mr. Hughes was in the Army when George Smith won the Derby, and while he conditioned the horse, Mr. Preston Bush saddled him for that race, a race that Holly Hughes never saw. Hughes did saddle a number of stake winners, winning both on the flats and over the jumps, including uh, Sergeant Murphy, who won the Entry Grand National in 1923. He also won the Whitney and Monmouth Handicaps. Holly Hughes was a native New Yorker. He passed away in 1981 at the age of 92. Here in the 34th renewal of the stakes event, number six, Dr. Disco, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, takes an 11-unit Trackmaster class drop, is the pace profile leader in this field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five starts, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number two, Freudian Dilemma, has also hit the board in four of his last five adventures, winning twice, including a power run win in his second race back. Race 8 summary, number 6, Dr. Disco, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 2, Freudian Dilemma, number 3, Law Enforcement, and number 7, Head, Heart, Hoof, 6237, and the 8th from Aqueduct, the $75,000 Holly Hughes Stakes. Go to Gulfstream Park in South Florida next for race number 6, 301 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Eight and a half for a long route test on the dirt track. Four year rolls and up race for a claiming prize of $16,500. Contenders number 11, Rocky Start. Number 7, Conway Candy. Number 2, Lion Thunder. And number 4, Bull Hole. Number 11, Rocky Start, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, is the overall speed and pace for profile leader in this claiming field. Racing at or about today's distance of 8.5 furlongs on the dirt has produced a quartet of power and performances in his last five starts. Number seven, Conway Candy, has hit the board in three of his last four with two of those efforts, including a win in his second race back, also qualifying as power runs. Race six summary, number 11, Rocky Start, tops of my contenders list today, which also includes number seven, Conway Candy, Number two, Lion Thunder, and number four, Bull Hole, 11 7. Two four in the sixth from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Parks Racing, Ben Salem, PA, race six, number seven, Bell of Nile. An eight to one shot, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at today's distance of six furlongs on the dirt. Turfway Park in Kentucky, race three, the six to one shot, number five, Gemaru. A Trackmaster Plus Power Pony qualifier is the overall speed leader in its allowance field. Sprinting at five furlongs on Turfway's cushioned dirt track. So from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park on President's Day, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.